Hey everyone, welcome to part 85 of my Pokemon game series in Unity. So in this video, we'll implement the audio system and we'll start adding music to our game. So let me give you a demo of the audio system. So right now, you can hear that it's playing the background music of the scene. And if I go to a new scene, the music will smoothly fade and change to the music of the new scene. So in our audio system, we'll have the option to smoothly change music by fading. So next, if I start a battle, it will play the battle music. Alright, so we'll look at how to implement all this in this video. You can support the making of this series by becoming a Patreon and get some cool rewards for it like access to the complete project files of the series, exclusive tutorials that are not covered on YouTube and access to the Discord community. So before we start, I want to say a huge thanks to all the Patreons who are currently supporting the channel. You guys make the series possible and I'm grateful to each and every one of you. So let's start the video. So first, let's download all the music files that we need. So I found this website that contains all the music from the Fire Red and Leaf Green games. So I'll be downloading all the music from here. I'll put a link to this page in the description. All right. And if you want to find copyright free music for your game there is another awesome website called open game art so here to find the music for an rpg game you can just go ahead and search rpg all right so here we already have some music files that can be used in an rpg game and if you want you can untick all the other art type except for music and sound effects and then search again so this way you'll only get music files and sound effects in the result all right so there are lots of good music in here but for the tutorial i'll be using the music from the pokemon games itself just because i have all the music in here and i don't have to search for different ones so i've already downloaded all the music i need from here so let's go ahead and import it to Unity. So in Unity, in the Assets folder, I'll create a new folder called Audio. All right. And I'll drag and drop all the music files I need into this folder. Okay. So this will get imported as audio clips into Unity. You can select an audio clip and play it from the inspector. All right. So next, we'll create a game object called Audio Manager. So the Audio Manager will be responsible for managing and playing all the music and sound effects. So let me go inside the Essential Objects prefab and here i'll create a new game object called audio manager all right so to play an audio in unity we need a component called audio source so under the audio manager i'll create a new audio source and i'll call this one music player all right and let me also duplicate this and create another one called SFX player. Okay. So the music player will play the background music in the game and the SFX player will play sound effects like attack sound, hit sound, etc. Okay. So audio source is the component that can play an audio clip in Unity. So here, if we just assign an audio clip to this audio source, it'll automatically start playing that audio clip when the game starts. Okay, so let's just try assigning this Palette Town theme audio clip. And now when we play the game, it should play that music by default. And by the way, for the audio to play, we actually need another component called Audio Listener. So when you add a camera to the scene, it'll come with the Audio Listener by default. But in case your camera doesn't have an audio listener, 
be sure to add this okay so let's go ahead and test if the music is playing so you can see that the audio is being played correctly all right so the audio source is working but obviously we don't want to hard code the music like this we want to play different music for different scenes right so let me just set it back to none and we'll set the audio clip dynamically from the script so let's go ahead and create the script for the audio manager so inside the scripts folder i'll create a new folder called audio all right and here i'll create a new c sharp script called audio manager okay let me just get rid of the default code so in the script first we need a reference to the music player and sfx player audio sources so let me create serialize field variables for that so first i'll create an audio source for the music player and then i'll duplicate it and create one for the sfx player okay so next i'll create a public function called play music so this function will take the audio clip that we want to play so i'll just create a parameter called clip and i'll also take a boolean parameter called loop so this will specify whether we should loop the music or not so let me just set it to true by default because we would want to loop most of the music okay so in this function we need to set the clip property of the music player so i'll say music player dot clip equal to the clip that is passed as the input okay and then i'll also set the loop property of the music player and finally we can call music player dot play function to play this audio clip all right so this function will play the audio clip that is passed in the parameter and by the way let me also add a null check over here so if the clip is null then we can just return and we should not try to play the music all right so now we can call this function to play the music so to make it easy to access the audio manager i'll make the audio manager a singleton so let me create a public static instance all right and then i'll initialize it from the awake function so now we can easily access the audio manager and call the play music function so we should play different music for different scenes in our game right so we can call the play music function from the scene details script so here what i'll do is i'll create a serialize field variable for the music of the scene so this will be of type audio clip and i'll just call this something like scene music okay and then after we load the scene we should play the music of the scene by calling audio manager dot instance dot play music right so for the audio clip to play i'll pass the scene music and we want the scene music to loop so we can pass true for the loop parameter but the loop parameter is actually true by default so we don't actually have to pass it okay so this will play the music of the scene whenever we load a new scene so let's go to unity and assign different music for different scenes so let me go to my audio folder and for the hometown i'll assign the parrot town theme and then for root one 
Alexander root 1 team and for the town 2 Alexander Peter city team okay and we don't need a team for the house one the house one is in the hometown itself so if we don't specify a theme then it will keep playing the theme of the hometown okay and just to be safe we can add a null check condition over here so we should really try to play the music if the scene music is not equal to null all right so let's go back to unity and test this so before we test i'll go ahead and assign the audio manager script to the audio manager game object let me actually do this from inside the prefab all right and let me go ahead and assign the music player and the sfx player okay so now when we test it should play different music when we enter different scenes all right so it's working but right now the music is a bit loud you won't be able to hear me speak if it's that loud so we can adjust the volume from the audio source so let me set it to something low like 0.25 okay and let me test again all right so now the music is much less louder and you should be able to hear me speak so next let's try going to the second scene okay so once i've reached the second scene it changes the music and starts playing the music of the second scene all right that works but there is one problem the change happens really fast so as you can see that when i change the scene the music changes instantly but i don't want that instead i want the music to slowly fade when it's changing just like how it's done in pokemon games so let's look at how to implement that so right now in the play music function we are changing the audio clip instantly so let's fade the music instead of changing it instantly so here i'll add a new parameter called fade let me just set it to false by default all right and for fading the music we'll have to use a coroutine so here let me create a coroutine called play music async all right so this will take all the parameters of the play music function and here we don't want them to be default parameters because we'll only be calling this function from the play music function all right so this code for changing the music will go inside the play music async function and before we change we should check if the fade is true and if it's true then we should fade the volume of the music player to zero so we have a function in do tween to achieve this so here we can just say music player dot do fade so by default an audio source doesn't have the do fade function but if we import dg.tweening which is the namespace for do tween then we'll be able to use this function all right so this function is used to tween the volume of the audio source so first we want to fade the music that's currently being played to zero so i'll set the volume to zero and for the duration we can give something like 0.5 or 0.75 that should be good let me actually turn the duration into a variable so that we can tweak it from the inspector all right i'll create a float called fade duration okay and i'll use it over here
so this will fade the current music for us but we should wait for the fade to complete before we change the music right so just like all do between functions we can add dot wait for completion function at the end to make this whole thing a coroutine and we can add a yield return at the start to make it wait all right so now we will wait for the fade to complete before we change the music and next once we change the music we should fade the volume back to its original volume right so let me just cache the original volume of the music player in a variable so here i'll create a float variable called original music volume all right and let me set its value from the start function so the original music volume will be music player dot volume and now after changing the music we can fade the volume of the music player back to its original volume so let me just copy these lines and here i'll fade to the original volume instead okay so this play music function will be able to change the current music smoothly by fading so let's call the play music async function from here all right and let me also pass all the parameters okay so now when we call the play music function from the scene details we can pass true for the fade parameter and it should slowly change the current music by fading all right so let's go ahead and test this so now when we switch the scene you can see that the music is changing smoothly by fading just like how it's done in pokemon game all right so next let's play the battle music when we enter the battle so let me open the battle system script all right so in here first let me define the audio clips so we need an audio clip for the wild battle music okay and then we need one for the trainer battle music and finally we need an audio clip for the battle victory music all right so now let's play these music so we have two functions start battle and start trainer battle so the start battle is for the battle with wild pokemon so here i'll play the wild battle music so let me call audio manager dot instance dot play music and for the music i'll pass wild battle music all right and for the battle music we don't want to fade it we want to play the music instantly when the battle starts all right so next from the start trainer battle function we'll play the trainer battle music so let me just copy this line and change the clip to trainer battle music okay so next we should play the battle victory music once we defeat all the enemy pokemon so let me search for the handle pokemon fainted function okay so in here if the fainted pokemon is an enemy pokemon then we should play the battle victory music but if it's a trainer battle then we should also check if all the trainers pokemon has fainted right so what i'll do is i'll create a boolean called battle won and let me set it to true by default but if we are in a trainer battle then we should also check if all the trainers pokemon are fainted 
right? So in that case, battle bond will be equal to true if the trainer doesn't have any healthy Pokemon. So I'll call trainer party dot get healthy Pokemon. Okay. So if this returns null, then that means the trainer doesn't have any healthy Pokemon left. So in that case, the battle bond will be true and otherwise the battle bond will be false. Okay. So now if the battle bond is true, then we should play the battle victory music. Right? So I'll call audio manager dot play music function and for the clip I'll pass the battle victory music clip. Okay. So we're done with all the music in the battle. So next when a battle ends, we should go back to playing the scene music. Right? So in the game controller, we have a function called end battle, which will be invoked when a battle ends. All right. So from this function, we should play the scene music, but we can't play it directly. We should also handle another case from here. So when the battle ends, there's a chance that one of our Pokemon might evolve and we'll go to the evolved state. So in that case, we don't want to play the scene music. Instead, we want to play a separate music for the evolution. Right? So check for evolutions is a function that checks if any Pokemon in our party can evolve. And it'll also run the evolution. So if any Pokemon can evolve, then we should not play the scene music. Right? But right now, since this is a coroutine, we can't return if an evolution is possible or not back to the game controller. So I'll refactor this function a little. So what I'll do is I'll rename this function to run evolutions instead of check for evolutions. Okay. That makes more sense because in this function, we are not really checking for the evolution. We are also running the evolution, right? And then I'll create another public function here called check for evolution. All right. So in this function, we have to call the check for evolution function for each Pokemon. And if any of the Pokemon can evolve, then we should return true. So I'll call Pokemon's dot any. And inside this, I'll call check for evolution for each Pokemon. And if the Pokemon can evolve, then this will return an evolution object. So if the return value of this function is not equal to null, then that means that Pokemon has an evolution. Okay. So this whole line will check if any of the Pokemon in our party has an evolution. Okay. I've already explained the any function in the previous video, so I'm not going to go over it again. So from this function, we just have to return the value of the any function. So now from the end battle function, before calling the run evolutions, I'll call player party dot check for evolutions and check if any of the Pokemon has a possible evolution. So let me store this in a variable called has evolutions. Okay. So if has evolutions is true, then we'll go ahead and run them. And otherwise, if there is no evolution, then we can go ahead and play the scene music. Right? So I'll call audio manager dot instance dot play music. And for the clip, we should pass the scene music of the current scene, right? So in the game controller, we have access to the current scene, but the scene music object is not exposed right now. It's private. So let's go ahead and create a property to expose it. Okay. So now we can use this property 
and play the same music once the battle ends. Okay. So next, if there is an evolution, then you should play the music for the evolution, right? So the evolutions are handled from the evolution manager script. Okay. So from here, we should play the evolution music. So first, let me create an audio clip object for the evolution music. Okay. And from here, we can play it by calling audio manager dot instance dot play music. All right. So next, when the evolution is complete, we should go back to playing the scene music. But we don't have access to the current scene from the evolution manager. So we'll have to do it from the game controller itself. So from the game controller, we have an event that will be fired when the evolution is complete. So from here, we should play the theme music of the current scene. So again, I'll call audio manager dot instance dot play music. And for the clip, I'll pass current scene dot scene music and while playing the scene music it's always good to fade it it will sound a lot better so let me pass true for the fade parameter and let me also do it when i play the scene music after the battle ends okay so here also i'll pass true for the fade So now we have also handled the evolution music. So next, I want to play music whenever a trainer detects the player. So let me open the trainer controller script. All right. So in here, I'll define a new serialized field object. So this will be an audio clip called trainer appears clip okay so we should play this clip when the trainer detects the player and the trigger trainer battle is called so from here I'll call audio manager dot instance dot play music and let me pass trainer appears clip for the clip okay and we don't want to fade in this case we want to play this music instantly and next there's also another way in which we can start trainer battle we can directly go speak to the trainer so in this case also i want to play the trainer appears music okay so now we are playing the music for most of the events in the game so let's go to unity and assign all these music so let me go inside the essential objects prefab and here I need to assign the while battle music the trainer battle music and the battle victory music okay and by the way it would be good to have a little bit of segregation for the music objects so we can go ahead and add a header okay so I'll add a header over here called audio. So now we'll have some segregation here and that looks much better. So next let's assign the music for the evolution. So the evolution manager is on the game controller object. So here I'll assign the evolution clip. All right. And finally, we need to assign the trainer appears clip. So let me go ahead and open the trainer prefab and here in the trainer appears clip object i'll search for the trainer appears clip and assign that okay so we have assigned all the clips that we need so now let's go to unity and test this so now if we go ahead and start a battle It'll play the battle music. So let me just complete the battle real quick. OK. 
Okay. So once we beat the enemy, it will start playing the victory music. And once the battle ends, we'll smoothly fade into playing the scene music. So next, let me go and start a trainer battle. So if I go in front of the trainer, it will play the trainer appears music clip. And as you can see that the trainer battle music is different from the wild battle music. Alright. So yeah, all the cases are working fine. So now, it feels a lot better to play the game with the music. So next, we'll make it even better by adding sound effects. So I'll be doing that in the next video. So I'll stop the video here. If you think these videos are helpful, please leave a like and consider subscribing to my channel. And you can also support the making of the series by becoming a supporter on Patreon. Alright. So I'll see you in the next video.